Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle series, The School of Hard Knocks. So throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Battles by Ladder, playing under the Championship Battle Rules, which are the equivalent rule set of the VGC 2019 season. It is the Sun series. We kicked off last week with this, what I've coined, GX team, Groudon Xerneas, and uh, we're going to continue with it this week. So I hope you've been enjoying it so far, as always, if you enjoy the content. Do leave a like on the video, it does really help the channel, and uh, make sure you subscribe and join the Flinch Squad as well, why not? So, we had a good little run last week, we had three losses, uh, they were totally avoidable, so let's hope we can improve on that this week. Um, we're going up against Pelipper from Italy, I believe is our first opponent, uh, running a team of Kyogre, Tabulele, Palkia, Amoongus, Holucha, and Incineroar. So, I'm probably going to see the Inburnant ability with the Halucha, uh, with that Tapu Lele. So I'll kind of like straight off the bat, um, Trick Room is not a bad option here. We probably want to bring Coco. Um, now, like one of the options I've seen, I've seen similar builds to this team that I'm running right now, that, that we're running on the channel. Um, but with Tapu Fini over Tapu Coco, and in this instance it would be a lot better. So it's something we might try in future. I don't know if I'm going to change anything, just play it out this week. Um, but it is something to consider if you're taking this team forward or taking ideas from this team yourself. So, um, Xerneas boosting is really nice as well um, in this. But the Trick Room is very strong. We just need to worry about the Amoongus a little bit. Um, although I don't really know how my opponent would get round. Um, the Smeagol just follow me, boost up. And then we could have maybe the Trick Room mode in the back. Although... I think going Trick Room is not a bad idea. Um, I'm going to lead off with Groudon. I'm going to bring Tapu Koko on the back, and then I'm going to bring Xerneas as our last one, I think. Um, it seems like a good plan. We go Trick Room early game, and then we try and wrap it up late game with, with Xerneas. Um, the only problem is we're not bringing any of our uh, support Pokemon in Incineroar and Smeagol to this match to support the Xerneas setup, but hopefully we can remove enough early game with the Trick Room once we get it up uh, where it makes our lives a lot easier. The only problem is if we see the Amoongus kind of coming out. Now we should be able to get the Sun up here. Uh, there's a Kyogre revealing that it is Scarfed, I would imagine, because it's faster than the Lele. The Lele Psychic Surge. Um, we could see Taunt as well from the Tapu Lele, uh, but you've got to imagine that Kyogre wants to switch out rather than staying in. The Groudon is pretty threatened as well right now. Um, the one thing that I would want to maybe try and do is... Hmm. Because I imagine like the Amoongus to come in. I imagine we'll probably see a psychic come out. Um, no, I think what I'll do is just set up the trick room and protect Groudon. But it puts us on the back foot because if Kyogre goes out, then it can come in straight away. So we'd probably be better off getting the terrain up now. If the Kyogre comes out, then we can switch back in. Yeah. To Groudon once the trick room's up. So we're going to see Palkia come in. The only problem is getting our uh, Tapu Koko, because I really feel like Amoongus is probably the Pokemon that my opponent brought here. Um, is with the Electric Terrain up, we can't make use of our Hypnosis once Gravity goes up. There's a Psychic from the Lele. It's going to be into Koko. But with the Assault Fest, <laughs> critical hit. Not ideal, but we do take it, so it's not the worst thing in the world. We do get the Trick Room up, which is nice, and we can go for that Gravity now. Um, and I'm quite happy just to sack Coco if we need to. I'm going to go into... Um, let's go into the park here with a Volt Switch. I don't expect we... Like, Coco sticks around here, though. That's the only thing. I think Coco probably goes down. So we get the Gravity. There's a Psychic. It's going to be into the Coco again. Fortunately, that crit has meant that we're not able to take another one. And what we're going to see Palkia go for... Flamethrower, but we are heat proof, so that's fine. So this is. Oh, and the burn. Excellent. Good start. Good start. But now I'll be able to get um, Crowd on in. Um, 
My only problem is getting Groudon in right now is that the Kyogre is free to switch in at any point that it wants to. Um, and the, you know, you're probably going to see her rain dance come up uh, and then a water type attack from the Palkia into the Groudon. Um, the only thing we can try and do is maybe Gyro Ball into the Palkia, get some damage off into it because I can't see the Lele staying in and get a sword stance off as well. I expect the Lele to switch out to the Kyogre. Okay, no switch out. So we'll get a free sword stance, which is always going to be nice. Gyro Ball into the Palkia slot, which is fine. Lele probably going to just go for a Psychic. I wonder if it's Specs, because it's not really it's not really changed up what, it's, what it wants to do. There's a Psychic. It's going to be into the Groudon. Yeah, but we take that pretty comfortably. Um, okay. Now I think we just go for the same attack again and just go precipice this time around. We've not got many turns of Trick Room left though, so we need to be careful. Um, it's gonna be really awkward now when the, the Ky like we wanna be catching the Kyogre on a switching, but I don't know if my opponent wants to make the mistake of switching Kyogre in right now. Um, so we'll just have to see what we can do. It just makes it very difficult having Groudon out in the field. If Kyogre comes in and our trick room ends. Because Bronzong's taken like heavy damage so far. Okay, Lele being the protect. So we'll get the double up into the Palkia at least. And hopefully, if this takes it down, we've got like one turn of trick room left. So there's a precipice. Okay. Oh, we just miss out. There's a hydro pump. Okay. We should take this, this should just proc our berry. Very close, very close. Ooh, Palkia goes down. Life Orb, taking it down. It does proc our berry in the process. I missed the Life Orb damage from that flamethrower the first time around on Bronzong. Okay, so we've still got Trick Room. Hopefully Kyogre comes in now. If it does, this makes it so much easier for us to deal with. It's gonna be the Among of course. Hmm. But I think what we'll do is switch Xerneas in now and just Precipice Blades. Because we can take down the Lele, get Xerneas in. And then we can try and win the Weather Wall. We're going to have to sacrifice the boost that we've got with Groudon, but it's going to be worth it. So I think this is the last turn. I should have really looked on the DS that this is the last turn of Trick Room, but I'm just going off in my head. I feel like this is the last turn of Trick Room. We'll see if I'm right or not. Hmm. Okay, so there we go. Bronzong going out. Xerneas coming in. I don't feel like my opponent's really going to be attacking into that Bronzong slot, so we're pretty safe bringing the Xerneas in there, I feel, at the moment. Amoongus is going to protect. Yeah. Yup, 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 yup. Precipice bleeds. The problem is with the Amoongus, the moment though, on the field, is that um, there's always the threat of clear smog, which is not ideal. Uh, sunlight fades, dimensions turn back to normal, electricity disappears, everything's going, it's not good. Um, and yeah, we were right in expecting the Amoongus. Uh, what we can do now is we'll have to protect Xerneas, switch in Bronzong, sack it and then get Groudon back in. And get the sun back up. So, this, uh, that is what we do. I think we can still win this one. I think uh, we can still do it. We've got to hope that the Kyogre locks into a water spout. I would expect it to. Because it wants to do as much damage as possible to the Xerneas. And I would imagine probably water spout, clear smog into a Xerneas, possibly. But even an Origin Pulse, as long as it hits Bronzong, should take it down from this range. And we kind of want Bronzong to be sacked here. We don't need the Trick Room anymore. There's the water spout. Great. Okay. Bronson coming in doing that. Uh, the Amoongus might go for a spore. Well, it's going for the clear smog like we expected, so that makes sense. Expecting the boost. Grab it, you're going to disappear. Groudon, I'm going to come back in. Okay. Ooh, it's going to be very close, like whether we can take a 
water spark from this range with Groudon. Like, one thing we could do is just Moonblast, Kyogre, and Protect Groudon. Not a bad play, and then we weaken the water spout and make Groudon's life a lot easier. Like, Xerneas will be able to take it. The, the problem is that Moongus spores Xerneas right now. It, yeah, so there's a water spout. And I don't want to be geomancing right now with the Amoongus able to just, just clear smog. It just it just doesn't make any sense. So we're weakening that water spout and we get the special attack drop, which is perfect. And there's a spore. So yeah, we expected that. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Right, so I think what we'll do, we'll just lock it into Geomancy right now. We're not gonna be taking too much damage. Um and do we fire punch or do we precipice? I don't know if a, a fire punch takes down the Amoongus. Because we will be just put to sleep. And the extra damage onto Kyogre is it, was, it is really nice. I think we're better off Precipice in. Because I don't think the Amoongus has got anything other than uh, Clear Smog. So we're not in danger of a Grass Knot. There's a Water Spout. Man, see, it still does so much. Ah, oh, there's a crit. Ah, oh, that doesn't help. Hopefully, precipice hits. Come on, come on, crowd on. Get those specs on. It does hit. It connects. Okay, we're weakening that that water spot, which is ideal. Okay, so Kyogre is pretty much useless now. Uh, we just need to protect our our crowd on. Um, how many turns of sun have we got left? We have got three. We're 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 fine right now. Okay, so. I think we just dazzle. Hope we wake up, get the Kyogre, and then we can fire punch Moonblast the Amoongus. But we need Xerneas to wake up. Did that do any damage to Xerneas at all? Did it, like, literally did do anything? Here's Mob coming out. Okay, it's not doing too bad damage. That changes were removed. Um, we have to attack now. I think we have to fire punch the Amoongus. And I think we'll probably take a water spout in the sun from this range. I reckon. I reckon. As long as we don't get crit again, we should be alright. This is way closer than we're really I'm comfortable with, though. We could have played this. Yeah. Look at Groudon just like, what was that? The crit on Xerneas. Still staying asleep. Hopefully the Amoongus is in fire punch range. If we take it down now, this is game. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Even with all the crits, we're still able to come out on top. And I think that we're going into the last turn of sun now, but uh, Xerneas should wake its, its booty up. And um, let's go. Let's go fire punch, just to be on the safe side. I don't suspect it'll take Kyogre down. I might do from this range, maybe. We'll see. And there's another water spout. Let's see what damage it does to Xerneas. Does it do? 3. 3 HP. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, really, should I? But it, it is it is fun. It is fun. Okay, so very good game to my opponent. And we managed to pick up a victory in our first game of the week. So Pepper. What a lovely name as well. Wish, wish our tag had been salt. It would have just been so perfect, wouldn't it? But yes, good game to my opponent anyway, and uh, we will move on to our next game. So, um, I'm just trying to think back where we could have possibly, like the crits weren't very helpful. Like Tapu Koko would have had a bit more time on the field, I think, if we hadn't been crit by that first psychic from Lele. But you know, it happens, doesn't it? But we managed to kind of get ourselves a roundabout in our game plan generally kind of worked out um just the fact that Amoongus if it had grass not the game would have been a bit different it might have meant we could have went for a geomancy but the clear smog kind of puts the, the shut down on that doesn't it um but I don't know scarf Kyogre I just think it is it's obviously it's always it's weird early formats when it's available it's always going to be used which like the go to thing to use but I don't think it's very, like personally I don't think it's very good um, I think it's too easy to play around um, 
and don't get me wrong it is very effective in some situations but I think it's easy to play around and once you're locked in to a move and your opponent kind of just dictates play around that and like really shuts you down like we saw there it's not very effective at all um, and then you're just forced to kind of wait out to the end of the, the match but who knows we might come across one right now you don't know but we've got our next opponent crunch crunchy um, and they're playing a team of Raichu, uh, him on top, Kyoga, Amoongus, Tabulele, and Duskman Necrozma. So, is this the first Duskman Necrozma that we faced on the channel? Which is kind of exciting. I do like Duskman Necrozma. So, there's probably going to be a Trick Room switch in this team. Um, you've got to imagine the Tabulele is going to be there to help support um, the Kyoga, the, the Necrozma from fake out shenanigans you've got Raichu and him on top as well as his support cast as well as the Amoongus this is gonna be a tough game um, but I do feel I probably don't bring Trick Room to this game I don't think um, I think I go Xerneas mod maybe late game do I or do I or do I let's go Xerneas and Smeagol as a lead I definitely want Groudon. What do I want as my fourth? Do I want Incineroar? Because the Intimidate is quite valuable here, I think. Yeah. And the double fake out from our end is pretty nice. I don't want to bring Kokor. It's not really going to do too much against the Raichu. And it's not really offering too much against the Kyogre anyway. So we've got better means of dealing with it, to be honest. And like, this is where my point comes in. As I said at the start of the video, I think Tapu Fini would be better fitted in that slot because there's a lot of times where I'm thinking like I, the last game I brought Coco solely for the terrain just so Amoongus wasn't a problem turned out it didn't really work because the terrain disappeared by the time Amoongus became a thing um, but I don't know, I don't know, it's something to look at, I think it would be better, yeah, basically what I'm saying is a lot of opportunities where I look at Coco and I'm just like, I don't know why I'm really bringing it, but we're going to see my opponent lead off with Amoongus and Necrozma, um, so, oh, Xerneas isn't in the best of places here, um, I think what I will do is bring in Incineroar and I'm going to just fake out the Amoongus, because I don't want anything being put to sleep unnecessarily. The Necrozma wants to set up Trick Room. It can do that if it wants. Uh, we've got Transform as an option on Asmigo, but we get an Intimidate onto that Dusty Moon Necrozma, which is pretty nice. Um, we're not going to see any switch outs from my opponent. We do get the Fake Out onto the Amoongus, and there is the Trick Room as we expected. So. Hmm. Well, what do I do here? I'd like to transform into the Amoongus if I'm, I'm like if I'm completely honest with you. It'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? But it would probably mean fake out into the Amoongus and then transform. Um, and of course, my probably attacks into Smeagol, I would imagine, here. Hmm. The only problem is if we see the Lele switch in here to stop the fake out. But we've got to go for it, I think. So no switches out, so we're not going to see the Lily come in. Tony Geyser. So where's this going? Since it's me going, yeah, I'm going to take us down to our sash. And we'll be able to transform into Amoongus. We'll be able to scout what they've got as well. Thing is, we can't really stop the Amoongus putting um, Incineroar to sleep right now which is a bit annoying, but we can put the Necrozma to sleep, which is always good. So we can just go, I think, Flare Blitz into the Amoongus and let's Spore into the Necrozma. The Necrozma switching out, okay. Tapu Lele coming in, which I don't mind at all. The nice thing about Smeagol here is we've got the Regenerator ability, hopefully. We do go first. So let's see if this Amoongus spores are in Cineroar. I would expect it will. Oh, Clear Smog, it's gone into the Amoongus. Okay, that's fine. Like, totally fine with that. Because we should pick up the KO on Amoongus here with Flare Blitz. We're not intimidated. 
and it, it now gives us a free switch into Groudon in Trick Room, which is perfect. So there's the Amoongus gone, there's the Troublemaker all gone. Lele is asleep, so do not mind that. And what comes in? I don't imagine. Oh, it is Kyogre. Okay. Ha! Uh, 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 uh. This might be a bit awkward. If we don't get our sun up. Yeah, we're not going to get our sun up. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. And I don't think a knockoff in Precipice is going to be enough, is it? I mean, it might be, but it depends how bulky this Kyogre is. I think we could probably go for it. I think we have to. I can't really afford to switch in uh, Xerneas right now. So Lele going to switch out. Okay. And Cosmo coming in. just hope this is enough to take down the... Oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's a bulky Kyogre. <sighs> so close! Water spout though. Okay, we're back in business, boys. That is ideal. Okay, so now... We're not in the worst position at all. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One. Okay, so let's switch out Incineroar into Xerneas and let's go for another Precipice. And I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm pretty sure that we should be able to take an attack from the Cosmo here with Groudon. If you get rid of the Kyogre then we can set up with Xerneas. Precipice Blades, we, oh, we are faster, which is excellent. Okay, we should take both down. Oh, oh man. It's so close. <laughs> it's like a whisker. And it procs a berry, so. Hmm, Figgy. Okay, Phantom Geyser. Where's it going? Into Groudon. Is this just proc a berry? It does. Okay, that's perfect. And I think we've got one more turn of Trick Room, or is this the last turn? Okay, Trick Room ends. Tapu Lele going to come back in, but it is asleep. Hmm. I'm going to switch Xerneas out into Incineroar, and I'm going to just press it basically again. Because we can't fake out at the minute, so there's no point of switching Groudon out. Like, the weather at the minute doesn't really... Like, it's not benefiting us too much, unless we want to go for Fire Punch, and I'm not really feeling that right now. You've got to hope that the Crossmo feels like it wants to target down the, um, the Incineroar slot. Which, which was, yeah, it was the um, Xerneas. So, here it is. Such cool animation as well. Just got to mention that it is a great move animation. Should proc a berry, ideal. And we are going to get this precipice off. And I think my opponent at this point is probably banking on the lele. Ah, uh, it hasn't even had one turn turn of sleep, has it? I don't think it has. It switched straight out. Okay, so we get the roll there, and it is just the lele now, uh, which is perfect. So we should be able to wrap this one up pretty nicely because uh, we can just knock off and precipice, and that will be game. Don't say my opponent disconnected. It's waiting. They haven't. Uh, so we can just knock off and then precipice. And that is going to wrap things up pretty nicely for us. Tapu Lele is still sleeping, which is perfect. And there it is. The precipice billets. Lovely. Excellent. So very good game to my opponent. And uh, we managed to pick up another win, which is excellent. Um, French squad, yes, it's just excellent, isn't it? That was a really nice game, actually. I really enjoyed that. Um, it was backwards and forwards. Um, Groudon doing some work, and um, the water spout. Obviously, if Origin Pulse had come out there, it would have been a completely different game. I think we would have lost there. So, water spout cost my opponent a little bit. Uh, we managed to just get enough damage onto it to uh, to make it do its thing, and then uh, we were able to wrap it up. So. 
we're sitting pretty nice at the minute guys we're going to wrap it up there though um, so that will be the end of today's episode I hope you've enjoyed it as always if you have do leave like, uh, do leave comments down below, and uh, I will try and get back to each and every one of you as soon as I can. As well as that, I hope you've been checking out the guides that we've had last week on the channel, because uh, I've been putting a lot of work into those, and we'll have more this week. As I say, we're going to try and do every single Restricted Pokemon in the Sun series, so there will be one every single day this week as well. So uh, keep an eye out for them, they're coming out at 5pm, I think, UK time every evening. Um, through the week, obviously not weekends, um, and then we should be finished those pretty shortly. Um, we're going to play this team for the rest of the week, and in other news, my PC is arriving, so next week we will be back doing streams, so once I get it all set up, um, we'll be doing streams next week, which will be very exciting, so thank you as always for tuning in guys, I will see you for our next episode, so until then, take care and bye bye!